you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 12th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 34 what of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another and seeing that he answered them well he asked him which commandment is the first of all jesus answered the first is hear o israel the lord our god the lord is one you shall love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength the second is this you shall love your neighbor as yourself there is no other commandment greater than these then the scribe said to him you are right teacher you have truly said that he is one and besides him there is no other and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself this is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices when jesus saw that he answered wisely he said to him you are not far from the kingdom of god after that no one dared to ask him any question the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends one day after i uh, celebrated the manning mass a woman approached me because she wanted my advice according to her that she committed a grievous sin because she violated the third commandment of god which is to keep holy the lord's day she told me that she missed the previous sunday mass since she could not leave her daughter who was badly ill at that day i told her ma'am you would commit a mortal sin if you leave your ailing daughter and then go to mass without somebody taking care for her but i still listen to her it is gospel one of the scribes comes up to jesus and asks him an honest question that people also often ask which is the first of all the commandment actually there are 613 precepts and the scribes made it a lifetime practice to study these 613 precepts of the old testament along with the numerous rabbinic commentaries they make this question maybe to test and to see if jesus correctly understand the law as they do or maybe the scribe is sincere to in asking such question because at the end he embraces jesus answer and makes it as his own jesus appraises them with his profound simplicity and mastery of the law of god and his praise and the purpose here jesus law lays out plainly and simply how we must live our lives loving god with everything we are and loving our neighbor as ourselves the love of god comes first and the love of neighbor is firmly grounded in the love of god the first part of jesus answer is from the book of deuteronomy this is called the shema or listen up this is important for the jewish people because this is their morning and evening prayer for them these are the words to live by as well as the words die this is the first sentence where every Jewish child should memorize and the prayer every religious Jew hopes to have on their lips when they die. The second part is uh, taken from the book of Leviticus. This second commandment is the manifestation of the first. There is an intimate connection between love of God and love of neighbor. Christ gives us the two great commandments of uh, love and causes to live them. But how? first love through obedience second love through charity third love through prayer first love through obedience god wants us to obey him the great opportunity to obey him is here by doing what he gives us to do with all its ups and downs god does not look at at what actions we can carry out rather he looks to see if we are living yes yes my dear friends He enables us to respond to him by loving as he has loved us. To love God, 
we need to obey and to love others more than ourselves. However, this is the impossible without prayer. If a prayer enables us to respond, it is how only because prayer is where we transform our wills. Becoming like Christ is the purpose of prayer. To love Christ is to become like Christ. To make this change takes prayer. Thus, true lovers pray. Amen. May God bless us.